Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, it's Wednesday, guys. Checking in with you guys. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Uh, really quick story. Uh, I I had an old vehicle. I had a, I had a GMC Acadia that was breaking down. Uh, new transmission was needed. It had like 100,000 miles. It was falling apart. And I was... Uh, I was at the brink of just feeling like I was ho it was helpless. I was, I was hopeless. And all of a sudden, I had a blessing from God, right? So I got a new vehicle right back there. I went to a, a friend of mine, uh, Greg Tail, over at my Jeep, my Kia, um, in Salinas, California, and I was blessed with a new vehicle, right? So, you know, running your own business is challenging. Running, building a business you know, after having come from a financially stable situation, working, what's up BC, working as a CFO, you know, chasing my dream was challenging. So what's up, Marquise? Speaking of which, Marquise works over at the, the My Jeep. So it was challenging. So, you know, for several years, you know, my wife Maria and I were trying to make it work, trying to make this, this dream of me chasing what I want to do in life, what I want to be passionate about, helping people, uh, it was tough, and so we 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 bought two vehicles before before setting on this journey, and you know five years into it, my my vehicle was done, and so just on a whim, I thought about Greg, my boy Greg Tell, and went down to the dealership, and lo and behold, I was able to get a new vehicle, and there's my baby, BTY one, BTY one, so. When I was there, obviously you see all the nice ones with the fancy rims, with the tinted windows, with all the bells and whistles. And and you we all want, we all want that one, right? Or we want a higher level vehicle, right? Like a like a Porsche or a Land Rover. And the problem is we don't often have the ability to pay for that. Right? So the same is true for our dreams and our goals and our visions. So step one of the five steps to greatness is you have to want to be something, right? Or want to have something, whatever it is. Want to be a lawyer, want to be a doctor, want to be in the NFL, want to be in the NBA, want to be a millionaire, whatever it is. Step one is you have to want it. And everybody says they want it. But what I want you guys to understand is, is it's not not wanting it. Like, I don't not want a Mercedes. I don't not want to be a millionaire. I don't not want to be super lean. It's you have to want it. So not not wanting is not the same as wanting, right? It sounds confusing, I know, but we confuse not not wanting with wanting. So if I say, do you want to be skinny? Yeah, of course everyone says yes, no. No, you just don't not want to be skinny. You would have it if someone gave it to you, but wanting it is different. Wanting it means you are willing and able and ready to pay for it, right? So I wanted all the bells and whistles on my, on my Jeep Cherokee. Of course I did. But when it came down to what the monthly payment would be, I had to adjust what I got, what I wanted, right? So we need to work on that. We need to figure out what we really, really want, number one, and what we're willing to pay for. So you want to be lean and skinny and have nice abs, but what it costs you is daily workouts and daily better habits eating, right? You want to be uh, more, more, more educated and, and, and more financially secure, right? But what that costs is not going out every weekend and not buying everything you see. Right. You want to you want to be successful in your marriage or in your in, in your in your child relationship. But what that means is putting down the remote and turning the game off and talking to your wife or your husband. Right. Or spending 10 minutes shooting basketball with your son. Right. So you're not willing to pay for what you say you want. Right. So so the first step in my program in my five steps to greatness is you have to want it. But that means you have to sit down and write out what that contract is. Right, what comes with that? I knew what came with wanting to be in the NFL. Right, me and Brandon spent many a nights in the summer training. Right, sophomore year, freshman year, junior year, in the summer training, when most of our friends were out partying. Right, that's what it costs. 
right? Being a, being a collegiate athlete costs you something. Being lean and sexy in the summer costs you something in the winter, right? It costs you fewer cakes during Christmas. It costs you one less serving during Thanksgiving. It costs you something, right? And I always say, I'm not telling you you should want all the bells and whistles on the car. What I'm telling you is if you want that, those nice rims, those tinted windows, that 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 advanced uh, uh, sound system, that's gonna cost you a little bit more, right? If you can't pay for it or won't pay for it, that's fine. But stop saying you want it when you know wanting it means it costs you more. So the dream is possible. The dream is do whatever it is, it's doable. Stop saying you can't, just say you won't, right? Can't and won't are not the same thing. I can't get up in the morning. No, you won't get up in the morning. I can't save money. No, you won't save money, right? I can't sit there and watch this movie with my, with my, with my wife or sit down and talk to my daughter. No, you won't do it. Right, can't is not the same as won't. Right, I can't afford to, to make that payment on a car. You probably could if you wanted to. Right, so if you wanted the, the, all the bells and whistles, you could probably make it work. Right, get another job, you know, get a promotion, do more work, stay late, work overtime. You could make it work if you wanted to, but you don't want the bells and whistles that much. Right, so I want to be lean, I want to look good on the beach, even at 47. I'm willing to pay for that advance payment. Right, I want to be a speaker now. I'm willing to do lives when I'm tired, when I've done four, uh, 14 classes in two days. Right, I'm tired. I'm out here after finishing up one of my wrestling programs, doing the outdoor training, and and I'm willing to do a, a live video, even though I'm tired and a little bit, you know, less than confident. But that's what it costs to be a speaker. Right, that's the price I got to pay if I want to be on stage speaking to thousands. Right, so. Step one in my program, step one on the five steps to greatness is you have to really want it, right? Write down the requirements of what you know you need to do to be lean, to be rich, to be successful, whatever it is, to get a promotion, to get a degree. You know what it takes, right? And stop saying you want it if you're not willing to pay what you know it costs to get that. Simple as that. Simple as that. So, so saying you want something is okay, it's fine, it sounds cute, right? But when I say want, I mean, what are you willing to pay for? That's the very next step. And question one is what do you want? Question 1A is what are you willing to pay to get what you say you want? And if you're willing to pay it, there's no reason you can't have it. You know, part of my program, I'm doing this pilot program now. I'm developing a curriculum. And, and the very first question I'm going to ask you as part of this program is, is there a reason you cannot achieve what you say you want? And if you give me any answer, I'll give you your money back and send you home. Because if you believe there's a reason you can't have it, then you won't have it. Right? So at the very beginning, what you say you want, I'm going to ask you, is there a reason you, you, you can't have it? Is there a reason you can't be 20 pounds lighter? Is there a reason you can't be a millionaire in five years? Is there a reason you can't get a promotion? Is there a reason you can't get an advanced degree in the next two or three years? Is there a reason you can't do this or that? If the answer is yes, come back when it's no. If the answer is yes, you tell me why and come back when it's no. If the answer is no, then let's figure out what it costs and let's figure out if you're willing and able and ready to pay for it. Simple as that, right? So if you want it, right, make sure that you're willing to pay for it. All right, guys? So, uh, yeah, so I'm developing this program, this, this five, five steps to greatness, and I promise you when it's done, it'll help you get to whatever you want in life. Whatever goal or dream you have, uh, these five steps can help you. I can help you uh, lose weight, you know, get a better relationship with your family, you know, you know, get a degree, you know, get a promotion. Whatever it is, these five steps can help you. But the first step is you have to want it and be willing to pay what you know it's going to cost you. All right, guys, have a good evening. I'll check, I'll check in soon with you guys. Uh, love you, BTY, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.